So, next is we will come to another two things that is that sun capacitors and series capacitors right. So, sun capacitors basically used for a lagging power factor circuit uh, when you have uh, when you have solved that uh, circuit theory problem AC circuit theory problem you might have uh, solved the problem when uh, capacitor is connected across the load to improve the power factor right. So, so the effect is to supply the your requisite reactive power. So, sun capacitor basically it injects reactive power. Now, capacitors basically you will find sun capacitors generally connected to a bus bar. If you go to any substation there you will see the sun capacitors are there. If you go to any substation 33 kb or above then you can see it right and uh, dispose along the route to minimize the losses and voltage drop. Basically uh, sun capacitors actually right uh, I mean first telling one or two line when it is connected in the transmission or distribution system the primary objective of the sun capacitor is uh, to reduce the power loss right and though not much it improves the voltage magnitude also. And in the case of series capacitor just reverse series capacitors primary objective is to improve the voltage magnitude and though not much it reduces the power losses because power loss is inversely proportional to the square of the voltage magnitude. So, as the series capacitor improves the voltage magnitude, so to some extent it reduces the power losses, but basically primary objective of series capacitor is that it is actually improves the voltage magnitude. Whereas, a sun capacitor the main objective is a primary objective is to reduce the power loss and though not much it improves the voltage magnitude. These two should be in your mind right. So, capacitor is basically is a constant impedance type load later we will see uh, I will try to show you here that impedance uh, constant impedance type load right and that value the reactive power which it injects actually it is proportional to the square of the voltage magnitude at uh, you know where it is connected right. Therefore, when voltage is suppose suppose capacitor is connected at a 33 kb bus bar right. So, whenever whenever you are buying capacitor from the manufacturer suppose it is its rating is say 5 mega bar for example, that is actually specified at this say 33 kb voltage level right. That means, when voltage level is 33 kb it will inject 5 mega bar. Generally you will find that at 33 kb bus bar voltage may not be 33 kb it may be 32, 31 or 30 kb right. But capacitor that reactive power injection actually is proportional to the square of the voltage magnitude. If 5 mega bar it give at 33 kb then suppose voltage instead of 33 is 30 kb that means, reactive power injection will be 30 upon 33 whole square into 5 mega bar that means, it will not inject 5 mega bar rather it will inject less mega bar into the network right. So, that is why as the voltage falls the bars produced by a sun capacitor falls thus when needed most their effectiveness actually falls right. Anyway, so that is that uh, your what you call sun capacitor. Now, take a simple circuit right with and without sun capacitor. So, this is the circuit this is that simple series uh, circuit say right and R and X value this is sending and voltage this is one thing I could like to tell you whenever we take V s V r all these things you it is all per phase voltage V s V r all per phase voltage line to neutral voltages right. So, this is R and R resistance and your reactance of the line inductive reactance of the line and if you draw the phasor diagram same as before this voltage is your V r this is V r right and this is your I r magnitude understandable it is everywhere it is magnitude I am not saying here this is the I r drop this is I x l drop and this is I this dash green line is I z and this is V s this is the uh, your without capacitor and figure a and figure c actually this is the phasor diagram without sun capacitor. Now, in figure b a sun capacitor is connected right at the receiving end. So, in this case because of that that I c is the leading current this is your this voltage is V r 
this voltage is Vr. So, leading current I see leads actually Vr by 90 degree. So, this is the leading current. Now, this current initially this without capacitor this current was I. So, here it is I, but this leading current is there right. So, that means this I C is made it upwards and then this is the resultant current I dash right. That means, this is the I dash initially it was I now due to capacitor the current is I dash that means, current actually is decreasing because of this right. So, this angle is theta dash here is theta here is theta dash here is delta it is delta dash and that means, this current is I dash now with capacitor. So, this is I dash R right this is I dash X L right and this is I dash J this green line and this voltage your what you call that your V s right. So, that is your that means, what that capacitor actually uh, that as soon as you put it that capa capacitor actually it is uh, your reduces the current because it here it was I now it is I dash. So, ma it is magnitude is and changing the angle also. Now, in this in this case if you I mean if you if you see that delta and uh, theta here it is delta dash theta dash. So, later we will see because of this changing delta dash or theta dash from uh, delta and theta it improves the power factor of the load also right. Now, as I told you that capacitor actually it injects your what you call reactive power. If you if you look into this uh, this diagram I will just show you this way uh, for example, this diagram right. Now, this is that X c is the magnitude that a reactance right 1 upon omega c right. So, as capacitor is constant impedance type of load uh, because uh, x c is equal to 1 upon omega c, we assume that omega is equal to this thing, we are omega is not changing because f if we assume 50 hertz 60 hertz system generally f remains more or less constant. So, reactance remain constant. Now, question is that that take this simple uh, circuit right. Now, I will take only the magnitude. So, this current magnitude I c actually, I c actually it is V r upon x c right. This is the current magnitude. Therefore, my here also I c magnitude right. That means, I c square is equal to x c x c square right. Now, reactive power q c is equal to actually I c square into x c that is actually your uh, this I c square actually V r square into x c by x c square. That means, q c that reactive power comes from this is equal to V r square x c right. That means, that uh, this is that V r square upon x c that is a reactive power supplied from the sun capacitor. Now, if we assume that V r is constant for example, right then an x c also frequency will remain more or less constant right uh, omega x c is equal to 1 upon 2 omega c right. So, you know you, uh, that is your uh, it is omega c into V r square and that is equal to 2 pi f right into c then V r square this f frequency remains more or less constant right and if for a nominal voltage if we assume V r is constant. So, naturally capacitor is a constant impedance type of load because frequency is not changing right. Second thing is as I said capacitor that Q c injected is proportional to the voltage square just now we saw this thing say Q c is equal to your V r square upon X c. Generally what happen in the in the case of when you buy from manufacturer it is actually nominal thing is that Q c nominal value right is equal to V r nominal means rated right. So, V r that is nominal right square upon x c this is that your what you call this, but if it is if it is not if it is not then this is say equation 1 right and if it is q c is inducted at any voltage V r square say upon x c this is equation 2 right. So, this is actually q c nominal and this is actually q c you are getting at any voltage V r right. That means, if you divide 
that is equ equation 2 divided by equation 1, then you will get q c by q c nominal is equal to you will get v r square upon x c into x c divided by uh, just hold on divided by your v r right then nominal square x c x c will be cancelled that means here i am writing in, you know this thing uh, as a phrase that that means q c is equal to q c nominal right into your magnitude of your v r divided by magnitude of v r nominal right whole square. That means, that if if magnitude of v r is equal to magnitude of v r nominal then q c is equal to q c nominal right. But, if v r is less than this thing for example, for example, suppose suppose q c is equal to q c nominal say 5 mega bar say magnitude of v r is equal to 33 k v say right and magnitude of v r nominal is equal to 33 k v say that means, q c is equal to 5 into your 30 by 33 whole square right that means, 5 into your 100 by 121 mega bar right. So, that means, what that only at rated voltage this 5 mega bar will be injected into the network. If it is less than that then your voltage this Q c will be 5 into 100 by 121 right. right. So, uh, roughly it will be your uh, nearly 80 percent say I do not have calculator to calculate. So, that means, slightly more than perhaps 4 mega bar will be injected right. That means, whenever it is needed actually at that time because when voltage is low at that time it injects less your what you call less mega bar right. So, that is the that is this thing that means, that means Q c that capacitor thing it is proportional to the your what you call voltage magnitude square and second thing is capacitor actually is a constant impedance load right. So, this is your hope these things are understandable to you right. Later we will see when we will take the transmission line also at that time we will take some problem at that time things will be, but one thing I am telling this V s V r whenever you will solve everything should be on power phase basis right and this power factor improvement. Next is that series capacitor. Series capacitor actually it is connected in series with the trans, uh, transmission line such that that inductive reactance will be compensated by the your capacitive reactance, but those things are not discussable in this uh, course, but resonance is another problem for series capacitor, but we will not discuss on that right. So, one major drawback of the series capacitor of course, is the high over voltage produced right when a short circuit current flows through it right and special protective devices need to be incorporated such that spark gaps and nonlinear resistor. This two also will not discuss here. If time permits at the end then something new I will try to tell, but right now we will not go through that right. So, series capacitors you need when you are connecting series capacitor uh, in a line you need lot of uh, your what you call protection right. You have to be very careful of right. So, figure uh, we will take a simple uh, your what you call simple circuit diagram for that series capacitor. Suppose, you have a transmission line this sending in voltage this receiving in voltage uh, this R and X L is the transmission line a series capacitor is connected in series right. So, uh, just I will give you just I will give you one uh, uh, one I will tell you one thing uh, you find out what is the reason generally series capacitor they give it is analogous to voltage regulator right. So, why that you find it out right. 
So, series capacitor this thing is in series with that your what you call in the line. So, that means uh, impedance z dash actually when capacitor was not there j is equal to r plus z now it will be r plus j x l minus x e and this is the thing. So, what will happen that because of this x e this x l minus x e component will reduce naturally voltage drop will reduce. So, hence the receiving voltage will be better it will be improved voltage right. Now, if you draw the diagram instead of separate diagram like sun capacitor we had four diagrams two phasor diagram two circuit diagram so, here only one we have made it. So, this is the current flowing through this this i i. So, this is the current i is angle theta say and this is the receiving end voltage v r and again and again I am not putting i r that i magnitude, but understandable right. So, this part this is theta this is theta this part is i r right because it is i is here. So, this i r drop and 90 degree with this this black one it is actually i x l right I am not putting magnitude again, but understandable i x l. Now, this uh, now this uh, x e is also there the because it will be minus i x e. So, that is why this red one arrow is downwards because subtraction right. So, it is i into x e. So, resultant actually i into x l minus x e that is this part i into x l minus x e and this is that your what you call that z dash into your i right this dash line not written here, but this dash line is this thing. So, this is the sending end voltage and this is v r i r. So, this is the resultant phasor diagram. So, this part is i r cos phi and this side is i into x l minus x sin phi. So, automatically you can find out what is the relationship v s v r on this thing, but this phasor together this phasor diagram is shown right. So, series now. So, this is understandable this is simple thing right very simple thing. So, only thing is that you have to see that this i x l this i x c because it is if you multiply by i then this is i x c. So, naturally this much will be reduced. So, this is the resultant right if if the series capacitor is not there then v s t will go to the top of here only here only not so on, but here only right. So, next uh, the this uh, merits and demerits of using series and sun capacitor right. So, the relative merits between sun and series capacitors may be summarized as follows right. So, I have written few points, but I will tell you something also. So, if the load bar requirement is small series capacitors are of little use right, because no need actually if load bar requirement is very small. Now, if voltage drop is a limiting factor series capacitors are very effective, because it is actually reduce the voltage drop x l minus x e. So, series capacitor actually it improves the voltage right. With series capacitor the directional line current is small right. The hence uh, when you connect the series capacitor it is x l minus x e, but ultimately it is r plus j x l minus x e. Just you have to when you connect series capacitor you have to consider many other design problems I mean design parameters just like not resonance is one right. So, that x l minus x e component you cannot make it 0 right. So, x l minus x e component right that will be reduced, but in that case but r is there r plus j x l minus x e remember right. So, reduction in line current is small although current will be reduced is small. Hence, if the thermal consideration limit the current little advantage is obtained and sun compensation should be used right. Thermal consideration means that every 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 uh, transmission conductors has the maximum your what you call maximum current carrying uh, capability right. So, different conductors have different rating they call thermal limit. Now, sun capacitors improves the power factor of the load it is true whereas, series capacitor has little effect on power factor. I told you the primary objective of sun capacitor is to reduce the loss and improve the voltage magnitude right. So, whereas, uh, the series capacitor has little effect on the power factor right. For the transmission line where the total reactance is high series capacitors are effective for improvement of the stability. For a transmission system if the if the long transmission line series capacitor will be very effective right and it improves the stability detailed studies are there for the higher level course right. But for this course those th this is a, this is a general idea you have that between the series and sun capacitors. So, 
uh, if you have any any questions or anything uh, when you will study this you can uh, you can send us a mail right so but many other things are there on series and sound capacitor but that is uh, that will take long that will take uh, i mean long time and it is beyond the scope for this course right so up to this that power unit call your what you call power system component power unit system and booster transformer regulating transformers and series capacitors sans capacitors we have discussed right next we will go to the characteristic or power your power of the transmission line that performance of the transmission line for short line medium line and long line right after that we will see voltage waves and other things right so let us start with after this that short line thing right just one minute one few second just wait right so for this for the characteristics and transmission line right so this is another another new topic for you right so whatever phasor diagram we have made in the previous cases here also will come and those equations will come right so generally for the transmission line that it is convenient to represent a transmission line by the two port network you know right wherein steady sending end and uh, the sending end voltage vs and the current is can be related to the receiving end voltage vr and the current ir right through a b c d parameters right so generally this is generally you know that this vs we can write a vr plus b uh, bir basically its unit should be volts so i am writing here it is volts and is is equal to cvr plus dir this is ampere so this is a new topic started so this equation is 1 and this equation is 2 right so or in matrix form or in matrix form we can write vs is this side is equal to a b c d vr ir this is equation 3 right so a b c d parameters are that depend on the transmission line constant write your r then your l c and g of course conductance will be neglected for our study right so, so basically a b c d parameters they all are complex number right and uh, from this from this equation you can make out the unit right unit of all these parameters for example a and d are dimensionless right b is ohm and c is siemens or mo right i will use for numerical other thing mo right so and another identity uh, holds for this kind of system that a d minus b c is equal to 1 this holds right. So, to avoid the confusion between total series impedance and series impedance per unit length we will follow certain notation right. So, notation means that we will follow this kind of notation uh, such that right from the beginning I should clear everything there should not be any confusion when we will derive this. For example, small j is equal to gamma plus your j omega l ohm per meter right. So, it is actually series impedance per unit length we are writing gamma plus j omega l then similarly shunt admittance we will write is equal to g plus j omega, j omega c it is Siemens per meter I will use mo per meter right it is shunt admittance per unit length and when small j small y it is basically that parameters actually per unit length right per meter say and capital J is equal to small j into L that is ohm total series impedance. Similarly, y is that total shunt admittance small y into L Siemens I will use mo some book they are using e Siemens that is writing S or mo m h o right. So, total shunt admittance and L is the line, line length in meter right. So, this notations will be used throughout this. So, there should not be, should not be any sort of confusion right. So, G will neglect it as we have discussed earlier also right. So, we will not talk about this thing. Next uh, we will come for short transmission line. So, what we will say that capacitance that is that your sun capacitance may be ignored without much error if the overhead lines are less than 80 kilometer long. So, this 80 kilometer long or 60 kilometer long these are some these are some uh, your terminology right uh, we use 60 80 actually it depends also on the your what you call that voltage level right 
So, or if the voltage uh, is not over your in our country 66 kV level is also there 33, 66, 132, 220 and above right. So, in that case we can ignore sun capacitance, but for underground cable you cannot ignore right underground cable you have uh, you cannot ignore that uh, those things you have to consider the your charging capacitance or sun admittance right. So, uh, so, we will assume that line is less than 80 kilometer long or if the voltage is not over 66, Al ultimately it is not 80 or 60, you have to see that up to which length that uh, charging admittance is not affecting that your performance evaluation of the transmission line that is the major thing right. So, uh, that is why I have written it is not over 66 kV, it is a short line model on a per phase basis that is why I have written here everything we will do on per phase basis right is shown in figure 1. This diagram we have shown earlier also, but at the time load was not shown. So, this is a short transmission line. So, sending in it is a nothing is there no sun connection parallel connection nothing is there. So, I s is equal to I r. So, sending in current is equal to receiving in current line impedance is r plus uh, j x right reactant uh, impedance and this is that receiving end load is connected and voltage across the load is receiving and voltage is V r right. So, this is a short line model. Now, if you write down this equation, so V s is equal to V r plus Z i r and I s is equal to I r this is I mean I mean if you apply K V l here if you apply K V l here. So, you will get no this equation V s is equal to your uh, your what you call this uh, uh, V e R plus your I r into j right. So, this equation will get. So, this is V s I s is equal to V r plus z although I r and I s uh, both are same here this thing right. Another thing is I s is equal to I r. So, this equation is I s is equal to I r 0 into V r uh, plus 1 into I r right. So, this sending n and receiving n this this is a b c d parameter this is a is equal to 1 in this case b is equal to of course, here a is a real quantity for this one right z of course, is complex c is 0 and d is 1. So, a d minus b c is 1 because 1 into 1 minus 0 into z. So, that identity holds and this is equation 4 right the phasor diagram for the short line I will show you in this figure right. So, we have also seen this one. So, this is actually voltage V r, V r is taken as a reference right. Uh, what I will do? Uh, I will give you a, another thing that instead of taking V r as a reference, it is your job you will do it. You take I as a reference and draw this whole phasor diagram. This is your exercise right. Now, we come to this. So, this is V r as a reference. So, this is I r, I have taken magnitude here this is I x and this is the voltage V s right. So, angle your B B the, that angle that uh, between this I and the V r is delta r this green color this is delta r angle between your I and V r right and angle between V s and I is delta s right. So, this red color delta s and angle between V r and V s it is delta s minus delta r. So, this is delta s minus delta r this is the angle between this V s and V r right. And now, here E a is equal to E a is equal to I r cos delta r because this is delta r this is also delta r right and a b is equal to c d a b is equal to c d is equal to I x sin delta r uh, this is c d a b is equal to I x sin delta r and your E a is equal to I r cos delta this we have seen earlier also just now I have just uh, in the previous thing we have shown right. So, this is the phasor diagram and magnitude i is equal to magnitude receiving and current is equal to magnitude sending and current. Now, from this only we can write magnitude V s cosine delta s minus delta r the projection on this is equal to your I r look these are magnitude understandable. So, every time I am not calling as magnitude magnitude I will call I r understandable right. So, I r cos delta r plus I x sin delta r plus V r this is equation 5 right. Now, delta s minus delta r is very small the angle 
between V s and V r actually very small we can take cosine delta s minus d r approximately 1 that is delta s minus delta r approximately 0. So, cosine of this one delta s minus delta r approximately 1. So, here you put 1 then you will get magnitude V s is equal to magnitude V r plus i r cosine delta r plus x sin delta r right. So, equation this is equation 6 equation 6 is quite accurate for the normal range of load right that means, because this is an approximation delta s minus delta is an approximation right. So, if difference is more then we cannot make this approximation right, but for nominal load this this equation is more or less quite accurate right. So, one thing I am telling another exercise you try that take i as a reference and draw the redraw the whole phasor diagram for this thing right and see how it looks like you will find perhaps rather than this one that one may be easier to you right, but I have not made it for you you should do it. So, thank you.